Oh, that is so bizarre. Oh, do you see that? Oh, oh my gosh. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How is your day? It's going to be an absolutely manic day. We have so much going on. So let's go ahead and just jump into the first thing. Of course, this is a Mexican Black King, and she's got a clutch of eggs. This is actually a second clutch. So as I always tell you guys, they're going to be smaller amount of eggs and sometimes some fertility issues. Let's go ahead and see what she's got going on here. Let's see. I see two beautiful eggs right here. Let's go ahead and set them in the egg box right now. I see one little slugger there. And is that it? Mm. Yep, that looks like it. So it looks like mama here actually only laid three eggs, which again is pretty typical for second clutches. She probably laid six or seven eggs the first clutch. It happens. So how is your day going? Go ahead in the comments and let me know what you guys are up to because I always love reading about you guys. Let's just push our problem site and have a great time together today. Couple more ball pythons clutches today. This first one, I am so excited about. It's one of my favorite female ball pythons, which is? A fire red striped yellow belly bred to a pastel super vanilla. <laughs> gosh that is absolutely incredible everything is going to be vanilla of course there could be vanilla cream red stripe stuff there could be pastels there could be yellow buds all kinds of good stuff looks like she has one egg out but the rest of the eggs look good let's go ahead and see Ooh, mama you don't look happy do you it's okay mom it's gonna be all right Ooh, it's a nice clutch too look at that Ooh, these nice are huge. big, I know these are huge eggs. Oh my gosh, look at these eggs right here. And we're gonna go ahead and candle these eggs just because they were a little loose and a little wonky. But mama, you did such a good job. And the red stripe stuff is really hot right now. Of course, the Pompeii stuff and magma and all that other stuff that's going on. I cannot wait to produce these. And I've never seen a vanilla cream red stripe, let alone a vanilla scream red stripe yellow belly or who knows what we get. So hopefully these five eggs will yield us some awesome babies. You guys know that I read all your comments and uh, what the hell just happened? I don't know, my foot. <laughs> I read all your guys' comments and someone just randomly said that we should go give Eric a hug. So we're going to do that, right? He's going to be so wet. Come on. He come sweats on. a lot. Give him a hug. What's going on here? <laughs> That's not a real hug, Noah. Give him a hug. Go, go, on, give me a hug, man. <laughs> <laughs> then the last clutch is a normal bread to a scaleless head. All right, what's going on here? Oh, she's a pretty animal too. I love these little alien heads like that. And she's wrapped up with big clutch. I mean, look at this. It's funny. She looks like she's such a little small girl. Like, how did those eggs fit in her? That is absolutely crazy. Oh, this looks like a really fresh egg. Oh, this is a really good example. You guys can see when they're really fresh like that, you can literally see right into the egg. That is the embryo right there. How crazy is that? We'll go ahead and set that down. Literally, she probably was finished laying within the last probably 15 minutes or so. So we caught her just in time. Good job, mom. Oop, careful, don't get bit. All right, we got the rest of these eggs. Oh, they're, yeah, they're so fresh. You just feel how leathery and soft they are. So they haven't even set up to become harder yet. Regardless, that's it. Two clutches for the day. Good job, Kelsey. Thank you. All right, guess what, guys? Guess what? I've got a surprise. Better than the eggs? Wow. Look at it. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? Good, how are you? We've got an animal that I really was excited about for the zoo. So uh, let's take a look at this really quick. Do you mind Here, can we take a look? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Look at how beautiful it's that. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> yeah. Of course, this is an Argentine blue tegu, which is really cool. I've always absolutely loved tegus. And I think this is going to be a perfect addition to the zoo next door. It'll have a nice big cage and it'll definitely be a good educational animal. Look how cool is that? Is that awesome or what, Glory? Yeah, did I know about this? <laughs> you, you do now, you do now. Oh, cool, so nice. man. Oh my gosh. I've never really been around a big tegu like this before. They really are they're pretty sweet. Continuation of the crazy day, we had some geckos hatch, yeah. huh? What did look we get? That. Some gargoyles. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, oh, there's two of them? They're both striped, which is really weird oh, because right. it was from a reticulated to a reticulated. Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> we've been having like striped and reticulated and they've been hatching kind of together and then this one was reticulated to reticulated yeah. and striped. How so weird is that? They're so cool. Let's take a look at them. That one's already shut out, and this one hatched earlier this morning. It's so this one just out. hatched, huh? Yep. Oh my gosh. And then how, 
they shed right when they hatch out then? Yeah, they shed right after. So oh kind of like the leopards, they shed pretty quickly too. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you can definitely see the difference of this one here as opposed to this one that looks a lot more muted. Oh my God, they're so adorable. And we've got some eggs too, huh? Oh, yep, we've got some eggs to collect. We've got Nosferatu to and Bloody Mary. So oh my gosh, I, I didn't it. tell you, but he lost his tail. Oh, what happened? Bloody Mary bit it off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess gecko breeding is a little bit aggressive. So, oh my gosh. So, so this here is he is. Oh, no tail. Is. Oh. These guys actually grow their tails back though, unlike the crest of geckos. Oh good, good, good. So, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's too bad though. Did you bite his tail off, you silly? You can certainly see the mounding of the moss. So definitely some eggs in there, huh? Oh yeah. I can't wait to get some chewies because they they do something really cool. They protect their eggs. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's see what we got. There we are in the corner there. Oh yeah, there we are, right in the corner. Okay, cool. They look good, you think? Yeah, they're nice and I can even see the pink in there. So. Oh, perfect. So, a couple more eggs in the incubator. Yay. All right. That's awesome. We're definitely having a cool year. Definitely got to get some good ones. By the way, if you know anyone that has some really good chihuahuas or gargoyles that I should get, go ahead in the comments and let me know because I definitely want to get some more of these guys. All right, so Mary came to me and this is really crazy. Of course, it's rainbow breeding season or actually most of them are gravid. And this Colombian rainbow boa is definitely full of babies, but she had a litter last year. And this is the weird thing. It appears that maybe she hung on to a baby last year. And can you see that right there? That is crazy. Look at the pattern. You can literally see it's a little baby snake. Now what I think happened is I literally think that she retained a baby from last year and she's been keeping it in her the entire year. And of course, now that she's full of fresh new babies, she's kind of pushing it out. So we're gonna do our absolute best to see if there's a way we can try to get this out really gently. Ah, oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. That is literally a baby snake from last year. Look at this, oh, that, oh, that is so bizarre. Oh, do you see that? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is crazy, oh, there it is. Oh, guys, that is the craziest thing ever. This snake was literally in there like a mummified baby from last year. That is crazy. And of course she was blocked up with that. So thank God we got it out of her. So now she can actually have her fresh babies from this year. That is crazy. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen with a snake like this. I mean, how freaking insane is that? Again, after all these years of doing it, this is the first time I've ever extracted a mummified baby snake from the year before. <sighs> That's crazy. Holy crap, look at these pickle eggs all the way from across the pond. You gonna eat those? Heck yeah! If you guys remember that thing that we did with Lori and Noah where we ate a bunch of Japanese crazy stuff, the one thing that we didn't eat were these right here. Uh, Lori thinks that they're testicles, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but actually I think that they're actually a type of egg. You know, I personally think that they're probably like a pickled egg that was like, hard boiled and soy. I don't even know. And what did you think they were? I think it's a pickled egg. A pickled egg. Pickled egg. egg 100%. I agree. Okay, so uh, the only person that's willing to eat it is Lori. No, I mean Eric. And I have to say that Eric was ironically excited about this. I mean, he was... <laughs> Man, we get our Easter eggs, we put them all in this like pickle stuff and leave them for a few months, let them brew a little bit in there. Oh, oh yeah. They're disgusting. You know, it's so good. <laughs> Mary doesn't like it, but oh my God. I love my pickle eggs. Let's see what we got here. Definitely soy sauce. Let me, definitely <laughs> soy. Let me smell it. You guys want to smell it? Yeah. It smells a little spicy, kind of. Yeah, it doesn't smell like that. You know, it smells like ham. It smells like ham. It kind of does smell like ham. It's not going to smell yeah. like Ooh, maybe it's ham yeah. flavored. Okay, I really hope that this is an egg. Let's take a first bite. I hope it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that why it smells like ham? What do you think, Tess? I don't know. Definitely an egg. Oh, that doesn't look that bad. You eat it. No. It's got a nice smoky flavor. They're oh, pretty geez. good. No, you guys gotta try no. them. Look at his shoulder. <laughs> Give some to your pet. Your pet. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> 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 
is wrong with them? You yeah, you don't stand a chance around here if I'm hungry. Probably tastes a lot better though. It gives a little flavor, a little crunchiness to it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best thing you've ever eaten, what is this? It's about an eight point five. Eight point five? What? What the heck? It's up there, it's but good. it's not the best. But it's okay. Oh my gosh. What goes good with eggs? Dang, a spicy wiener. Yep. All right. <laughs> Man, I say we keep, you guys are we're living like kings in here. <laughs> really? That's living like a king, okay. You know, I'm going I'm to be honest with you. I don't like the texture. It is like very rubbery. It's not like a classic egg. You know, it's a little, it's a little tough. I'll do a second bite. Maybe reduce the effects here. You just pop it all in. Definitely, it's okay. It's kind of meaty tasting, you know? Like, like ham or something. Oh, it's a little dry. <laughs> 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 we got I'm some. Go. Oh. You're gonna drink the out of me on me. Oh, we're gonna really eat that? Ew, this looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Good God. Do it, Eric, do it. I lived in Nevada for a while. I wasn't always a snake keeper, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was not on your resume. No, I don't know if that's meat or not. It doesn't. That does not look good. Oh, take, a, take a bite. It smells oh, like squid. It smells like a squid sauce. No, that's, that's, this. that's this. That is squid. All right, give it a shot. You'll like it. Yeah. Ew! <laughs> Did you hear it when I ripped? Ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. No, it smells really gross. Did you smell it? Smell it. Oh! It smells like a squid, like a squid hot dog. With that said, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. This was absolutely a crazy day. A lot of cool stuff going on. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. As for now, me and Lori are gonna go out and do something really fun, right? Yeah, sure. I don't know what we're gonna do, but hopefully it'll be something fun. Regardless, you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you for joining me. It is always amazing to have you guys along. I love you guys so much. Do me a favor before we get out of here. Smash that like button. Hit the post notification bell. Make a comment down below. Always dab on the haters. <laughs> be, be, be kind to somebody. And I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.